Welcome to the Tongue Museums of South Africa. We are a collective of eight national museums, seven in Tiny and one in Johannesburg. National Museum of Military History, National Museum of Natural History, National Museum of Cultural History, Philip Prince Lou Agricultural Museum, Semi Marx Museum, Kruger Museum, Pioneer Museum, and Twain Meteorite Crater. Our museum was founded in 1892 by then um, the president of the Transvaal, President Paul Kruger. Um, the initial building was erected from um, 1910. When you enter our museum, you'll be greeted by the dinosaur bones, the big five that you'll see, which um, are also forming part of the mammals that we have in the museum. Our museum consists of four exhibition halls. We have the Genesis One, which focuses on the beginning of life. Um, it focuses on amphibians, single-celled animals. It focuses on arthropods. It focuses on reptiles and mollusks. Um, then we have Genesis Two, which uh, consists of mammals. We have the exhibition of birds, the collection of birds. Uh, which were collected by Dr. Austin Roberts in Southern African countries. We have about 875 species that you will see when you visit the museum. I've got the Geoscience Museum. In there you will learn about rocks, you will learn about uh, precious metals, precious stones. We've got the meteorite, we've got the moon rock that you will see. We have the Discovery Center for Children. So kids are also allowed to actually come to the museum. Okay, this museum is the National Military History Museum of South Africa. Uh, the museum was established on these grounds in 1947. Collections consist most, mostly of items such as aircraft, uh, there are tanks and guns, there's uniforms, medals, badges, uh, edged weapons, small arms, um, everything to do with military history. Uh, the museum is also a memorial to the South Africans who fought in the Second World War and who have also fought for this country over the years. The name of the person who lived in this house, his name was Sammy Max. He was born on the 11th of July, 1844 in Lithuania. This house consists of 40 rooms, 14 bedrooms, and four bathrooms. Then we have the main bedroom. In the main bedroom, we have a solid brass bed where um, if the bed was made, no one was allowed to lie on it because they put goose feathers and chicken feathers inside. And then we have the dining room where Sam would invite visitors to have uh, dinner, to have coffee, and that's where um, he would entertain his guests. We have the kitchen. The kitchen was added later in the late 1890s. And then most of the things that are in the kitchen or most of the objects that are in the kitchen, that's, that was used in the, in the olden days. I'm welcoming you to this beautiful Victorian house in the city centre of Tswane. We are three blocks to the west of Church Square. And this Victorian house was built in 1884. It was built for President S.J.P. Kruger and his family to come and live here. And you can see the high ceiling on the inside. You can see the Victorian furnishings of the house. On the outside, there are two gables, and it's typically of a Victorian house with a very broad stoop or a veranda on the front, as well as at the back, a very uh, large um, veranda. This crater that you see here was formed about 220,000 years ago by the burning meteorite which was 50 meters in diameter. 
so you can estimate 50 meters to half a size of a soccer field. When these meteorites fall from, travel from space to Earth, they travel at a very high speed. They probably travel at a speed of 11 to 72 kilometers per second. So you can see how fast they travel from space to Earth, as fast as lightning. We also have a picnic site where people can come and relax after the hike. Even team, build, team builders, they, will be, they, they will even visit Tuaying. After the hike, they will go to the picnic area to do some rice. We have three walls here at the Limprinslo Agricultural Museum. Uh, we've got the first wall where you can explore yourself and take a look at different vehicles which were used in the past. We also have a vehicle, the first vehicle, which was used to take kids to school. Then we also have couches, we also have um, ox wagons and all these things that you can think of that relates back to when transport was done. We also have a hall where we showcase agricultural implements, cultivation implements and stuff. And there's another wall where you can learn more about the development of transport in the past. Then we have also another section which is called the Lapa Crawl, where we accommodate at least 100 students who want to explore the museum while sleeping over, wake up in the morning and take their time watching the beauty of the Valen Prinsloe Agricultural Museum. And there's also what we call the Boomer. The Boomer is a place at the Lapa Crawl or where we can tell stories during the night. Pioneer Museum was found in 1964, uh, restored by the Cultural History Museum uh, today, which is under the so Museums of South Africa. The Pioneer Museum is known as a place where you can come and, in, and enjoy yourself, have a picnic. We have a, pic, a bright area where you can come and have your picnic. Then we have the house where you can find our the museum object where you can view and the house is divided into rooms where you can go around and view the rooms and also look at the objects uh, that we have in our museum. We also have the wagon house. Inside the wagon house you will find some wagons that we use at that time. We have the, in Africans it's called the Kakebien uh, wagon. We have a donkey cart that was transporting children to the school. When people uh, come here, they can also, there's a, a small dam fountain where the ducks are sitting. So people can come around and view the, the different types of uh, ducks. And also we have the ships. The ships, you can come and view some of the different types of ships that we have at the museum, since the ships are also used for the uh, museum program. This museum was opened in 1996 and it was known as the African Window under the Northern Flagship Institution. Then it changed to the own Museums of South Africa. The permanent exhibition spaces, the first one is called Schroeder. It's all about the early cattle farmers, which happened 1,600 years ago. Uh, it's an area in Limpopo province where we excavated all the clay figurines that you will be seeing in that exhibition. The second exhibition space, it, it is the Sand Rock Art Exhibition. It's all about the first people who settled in Southern Africa 27,500 years ago. They were known as the Bushmen. Marawa Stad is all about an area which is situated right here in Pretoria, where people were forcefully removed from 1954 up until 1956 because of the apartheid laws. The Pizaki Wupilo is all about clay pots. Uh, the usage of clay pots, how they were made, and from which cultural background did the clay pots belong to. For more information, visit www.ditong.org.za. Ditong Museums of South Africa, sustainable museums, access to all.